The Northern Ireland Affairs Committee has called on the government to set out how it intends to avoid a hard border following Brexit. The committee says time is running out for a technological solution to be found before the UK leaves the EU. Gareth Wilkinson reports. Don Redden has a plan to get his buses around a potential hard border. His private hire company operates right across the northwest from his yard in Muff in Donegal. This is Southern Side of the Operation. Southern Side of the Operation. We're in yeah. Donegal here. Donegal. That's Your big right. plan to beat Brexit just around the corner here. This is now you're crossing over into Northern Ireland here. The, the river is, is the border. And here we are, Don. That's right. The, the Northern <laughs> Depot. Take That's a it. ship. Yeah. You're That's ready. Right. Don has built a new depot in part of his land, which is in Northern Ireland. The Northern Ireland Affairs Committee's findings further convinces him that a hard border is coming. I'm not surprised there's no solution. So there never has been anything put on the table to make it sound like there was going to be a solution, so I'm not surprised. And others are going to have to think like you, I think outside the box, do you think, in border areas to keep their cross-border trade viable. There always had to be some kind of a plan, otherwise you'd be left sitting on the wrong side of a line. In over a year of hearings, the committee came to Northern Ireland's border regions. They heard from people affected by Brexit. They even saw the border. The committee says finding a technological solution to keep it open in time for the UK's EU withdrawal next year could be impossible. The cost would be enormous. And again, that there is a lot of complexities involved in this because of the nature of it. Again, the goods which are being imported, the different tariffs again which apply. The report rules out the creation of a customs border between Northern Ireland and the rest of the UK. It says the UK may have to remain in the customs union during the transition period. We cannot have a frictionless border and have Brexit as it is envisaged uh, by the DUP and as it has been promoted uh, by the Brexiteers. Therefore, we need to move to the solution which is being put forward by Europe, that is we remain in the customs union. I think the UK staying in the customs union either in the transition period or beyond it isn't an option and the Prime Minister has ruled that out. Therefore, we, EU, I think, need to recognise that. The committee also says that the government should set out in detail how it proposes to manage immigration. It wants ministers to also clarify how the common travel area will protect the special status of British and Irish citizens living in each other's countries. It says new legal safeguards might have to be created. And the committee also wants the government to detail its proposals for cross-border projects such as the peace programme post-Brexit. Here at this crossing between Derry and Donegal, you can still see the infrastructure from a previous hard border. This is an old customs post on the southern side. And the Northern Ireland Affairs Committee seem to be saying, like everyone else, they don't want to see a return of this type of border. But like everyone else, they've failed to come up with any type of solution. Garth Wilkinson, UTV Live, on the Derry. Donegal border. I have never in my life come across something as cruel. That's how a senior district judge described an